Okay, a couple of you asked me to give you a little hint on the kind of how many coins or whatever or something like that. And so I just wanted to do this quick. So say I want to find the way to make, you know, change for say 37 cents. And so making some type of chart is going to be useful. Um, this chart's not big enough, but we can make it bigger. So you're going to be using maybe quarters, dimes, and nickels. And in this case, I'm allowing pennies, which the problem you have may or may not. So the idea with a chart is that you don't miss anything. All right, so let's start. If I have one quarter, that's going to take away, what, 25 cents. So what do I have? 12 cents left. So that would be a dime, that would be 35 cents, and then I would need zero nickels and two pennies. So that's one combination. Before you give up on one quarter, go ahead and put one quarter again, but notice now you're gonna go from to zero dimes, which means you're gonna have to pick up some nickels, which would mean, what, two nickels. So that would be one, 25 cents, another 10, and then I would still have two. I can't do, mm, how can I say this? I can't do one um, nickel right away, but I'll do that in the next step. So if you're like, well, why'd you do, do two? It's because it's the most I can do. So now I'm gonna do one quarter again, and you're like, why? Well, because I could drop a nickel. So I'm gonna go to zero and drop down to one nickel. So 25 and five cents is 30 cents, which means I would need seven pennies to get up to that. And so now you're like, okay, is there, I either have one dime, and then the rest have to be pennies. I could have two nickels or one nickel. But the next option is I could still have a quarter and I could have zero dimes and zero nickels. Sorry about that in the middle. So right now I'm at 25 cents, which means what? The other 12 cents all has to be pennies. So once you kind of do this, you, you kind of see this pattern of going down to one zero. All right. So now you're like, okay, well, that's all my possibilities with quarters. So now we're going to go to zero quarters and we're going to do all dimes. All right. So if I do all dimes, uh, that would be what? Three for 30 cents. And I want to do as many nickels as possible, which is one. So I'm at 35 cents with two. Now, before I give up on three, kind of like up here with zero, I had to keep at it for a while. So I'm going to stay with three. So zero, I have three dimes. Um, and so then it's like, well, you know, I can't have a nickel. That'd be too much. I've already done that. So now 30 and then what is that? 37 cents adds up to my 37 cents. So then it's like, is there any possibility with three? And it doesn't look like it unless I'm missing something. So then I'm going to go to zero and then I'm going to go down to two. And it's like, all right, what can I do with a two? Well, you want to do the most possible and then work your way down. So that is what, 27 so I have 17 cents left. So what would that be? Three nickels would be 15 and then two left. So that looks like it's 20, 35, yeah. So again, before I give up on this two, I'm gonna keep doing two over and over again and go down here. So I'm gonna go zero, two, and then instead of three nickels, I'm gonna try two nickels. So that would be what? 20, 30 cents. So now I need a seven here. All right, so what you're going to keep doing is you're going to go down to three nickels, two nickels, one nickel, and zero nickels. All right, and then we're going to, you know, then we're going to have to shift to maybe one dime and then keep going. All right, so right now we're stopping after, where am I at? So I have 227. All right, so I'm going to continue this. I'm going to pause, erase this, and we're going to continue. So zero, two, two, seven was our last one. All right, I'm going to pause and then keep going. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. The previous one we did was 0, 2, 2, 7. So again, I'm not going to give up on my 2 right away. So I'm going to go with 2 dimes again. But see, I'm going to go down in nickels. And I'm going to go down to 1 nickel. So what is that? 25 cents. And our, we were doing, what, 37 cents for our goal here. So what is that? 25. So I would need, what, 12 over here to get up to 37. All right, and again, I'm not going to give up on my two dimes yet because I haven't gone down to zero nickels. So that's, what, 20 cents. So that would be, what, 17 pennies to add up to, um, whatever, 37 cents. All right, so I don't think I can, you know, I can't go down our nickels anymore, and I've done all pennies. So now I'm going to go down to one dime. So I have one dime, so let's do the most nickels possible. So if I have one dime, that's what, 10 cents. So let's see, 25. So if I do five nickels, that's 25, 35, and two pennies. 
So if you kind of see the pattern here, what we're going to do is, I don't know if I can cut these in half maybe to get some more space maybe. I will try that. So we will cut these in half. So I can make a little, make my chart. Oh boy, that was not good. All right, well, we'll do the best we can. All right, I don't know if I can move that down or maybe try to erase it. But so what's going to happen here is do you guys get, I know this is going to be zero, 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 zero. And I'm going to go one, 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 one. And do you get that this is going to have to go down four, three, two, one, and then I need one more, zero, one, zero. Because I'm slowly going to keep my dimes at one, and then I'm going to decrease my nickels. All right, so let's see, what is that? That's 10 cents and, what, 30. So I would need, what, here? Uh, let's see, is that seven, hopefully, maybe? All right, you guys can keep me honest here. Um, and then this is what, 10 cents and three would be what, 25? So is that 12 maybe again? And then this is 20 cents, so what, 17? And if I make a dumb mistake, forgive me, just go with the process here. 15, so what's that? 15, is that 22 maybe? And we're kind of adding five all the time because we're getting rid of a nickel. And so if I have 10 cents, I would have 27 pennies. So there's all of that, okay? All right, so then it's like, is there anything else we can do? I mean, we've gone down on a dime and added as many nickels as possible. And we went um, five, four, three, two, one. Um, the other problem is though, I could do like, so zero, five here. Uh, let's see, is there anything I'm missing there? So I went four, three, okay. So let's go and keep going here. So I could go zero, zero, and then now I could do all nickels, which would be what? Seven nickels with two pennies, all right? 35, 36, and then do you guys get, I'm gonna do zero, zero, and then I'm gonna go six, and then I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, I'm running off space one with all pennies. And then the last thing would be zero, 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 and then all pennies, 37 cents. And then what you do is count all the ways. Now, the one on your homework is not that awful, but that's the process that you want to go to so that you can count all of the different ways. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Hopefully that's a little bit of a hint that helps you out. But yeah, you kind of want to make a chart so that you don't lose track of things. So, all right, I'm going to leave it at that. If this doesn't help, let me know. We can talk about it in class. Take care. Bye-bye.